Yes. Uh, we will not go go inside. Yes. Uh, we will not go go inside. But I can tell you, if you want me to talk about the med, I can go. Let me say this. Fennec is my friend. I knew Fennec way before he started managing Balkesi. I am the person who actually introduced Fennec into managerial places. As I speak to you now, Fennec is on my right side, listening. Saying, shall I get like I go talk some? That's with him. If you get my wife on the phone, he'll tell you. Oh, sorry, she'll tell you. Fennec, Fennec, Fennec comes to my home and come and eat. Wow. Yes, that's how we are. When um, Jospon bought Fennec, his car. You got tears in your eyes. Yeah, too. because you see, I've been through a lot. Don't. I don't go know. What, look, the, down, the last down. no, the last time, the, the last time I spoke to Fennec was yeah. like five, five days before he was murdered. Really? Yes. Call so Chris and ask him. He put me on on speaker. We were supposed to do, and that's what hurts me more. It's not even about you know. We're supposed to do like um, a manage um, a joint, a joint. You know, call all the managers and have like a like a union. Okay. You know, and I said, oh, I had to go to Canada or something. So when I come back, we're going to meet. And I was traveling with Shatter. You know, so, you know, but then the thing happened before I left. You know, so nobody, no, people for stop the joke. For, for people or for listeners who may not know the genesis of the story, mm. why were you sent to prison? Um, okay, so I didn't go to prison. I was in cells. Cells? Yes. Why? Um, okay, why were you arrested? Okay, so I was arrested in connection with the um, murder of... Um, Fennec. Right. Um, that's I got to know later. You know, I was just in front of opposite uh, your, your your station. Adam, I think Adam was Adam TV was on the other side before. Right. And I was there with Shatawale doing an interview. You know, and um, I got approached by some few gentlemen and said, "Oh, they needed me to assist, uh, come to the police station with them and assist them with investigation." You know. Um, when the issue happened, I knew somewhere like Obuo had gone there, and I think I, I don't remember. I think a few industry people had been called, so I felt, oh, I mean, when I was with them, I mean, I actually drove them in my car, three gentlemen, and in my car I asked them, I mean, am I under arrest? Say no. Do I need a lawyer? They say no. You know, mm. yes, I asked them all that, you know, and um, he said, oh, you're just going to be assisting us I said okay cool let's go i went you don't know what i went through you yourself Shatawale, when the issue came and when he came to the he, he and, and my mom nearly broke me in the cell because i was there in high spirits you know there was a day my mom came there and she looked at me some way and i just felt it you know i i i almost teared up Shata himself came, you know, at the, at the point he wanted to come. And I told him not to come, you know, sell there, your, your, your phone be already casa casa all the time. And I said, no, don't come because, you know, when you come, it could be, you know, how. Chaos. Yeah, when it comes, you know. <laughs> Plenty of people. Ah, the day he got there himself, yeah, and they called me out. Hmm? I came by the, you know, I can't hold 11, you know, he did yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> he cried. <laughs> Like baby, so if you felt that I uh, don't come and play, you where you day out there. If you come see me, you they cry. So you foresee how strong me, I make myself where I did it. I mean, um, and I've heard a lot of people making some commentaries, and I'm like, you don't even know what's up. They're like, oh, so how did you go back to him? I didn't go back to nobody. I was working at um, Xylophone Media, and Nam One arranged the meeting. Says, hey. When Nam One called and said, Shata wants to come and apologize to you, I'm like, I just told him straight blank, oh, there's no need. I mean, this is what's under the bridge, so no point, you know. He said, no, no, you need to come, da, 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 da. I called my wife. She, you know, my wife beats me. I'm a macho man with the way my wife did beat me. I, <laughs> I mean, he wrote all that. So I called my wife and sought her permission because when the issue went, the issue that happened um, uh, back then, my wife suffered the most. Although it was my matter, she suffered the most. Her naked pictures and stuff were all over the place. So I, I said, look, my, my, my boss has called me, 
says, um, Shata wants to meet, and she says, Hey, it'll be anything. Life, where would it go? That day, Bola was there, Namwa himself, another gentleman, and um, where we met, Kofi Boat. You know, Kahaya, mm -hmm. his house is behind Kahaya. That's where we met. He came, came knelt down. Oh, Bosu, I'm like, yo, 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 nothing. I mean, we're cool, we're brothers. So there's, there's no need to apologize. I trim that. Let's just, oh, no. I say, no. Bola was there. We took a picture that night. You know, and, and everything was calm and cool. And that's how we connected again. So if you come back and um, you're all over the place, you know, talking somehow, especially that point, you don't know what I went through. Yep, yep. So you sued? Yes. <clears throat> and um, I'm doing this for my kids and my wife. Are they asking you to sue? No, I'm saying I'm doing this for them. That's what I'm asking. What are they? No, they're, they're, not, they're not asking me to sue. My, they're, they're the ones who suffered a lot when I was uh, behind bars. Nobody suffered than my wife, especially. I mean, when I got out of, of um, cells after my one month, she was looking like a broomstick. Wow. Yes, slim. Drained, like, you know, she never slept. 